Fox News alert, the Pentagon releasing a report on the investigation into the deaths of four American soldiers in an ambush in Niger. The men killed in a surprise attack overrun by about 100 ISIS fighters. All of our soldiers uh, fought valiantly that day. Um, and there were a series of contributing factors uh, to what occurred in Tongo Tongo, but none of those contributing factors are the direct cause of the enemy attack in Tongo Tongo. The direct cause of the enemy at attack in Tongo Tongo is that the enemy achieved tactical surprise there, and our forces were outnumbered approximately three to one. Lucas Tomlinson is standing by live at the Pentagon for us. And Lucas, did the investigation find fault with any U.S. military leaders? No, it didn't, Julie. The investigation blamed a lack of training and the special forces team's decision to go after an ISIS leader without proper authority. The head of U.S. forces in Africa says changes have been made since the October ambush. We are now far more prudent in our missions. The missions that we actually accompany on have to have some type of strategic value in terms of the enemy we're going against. Do they have a strategic threat to the United States? And what this has done is it, it has allowed uh, these teams perhaps to not to do the tempo that they would like. The Pentagon released this video reconstructing the attack. The report blamed the special forces team leader for mischaracterizing the mission up the chain of command. The team leader claimed he was conducting a routine meeting with local leaders when, in fact, he set out to pursue a known ISIS leader who played a role in kidnapping an American aid worker in Niger in 2016. Now, since the attack, armed drones are now flying over Niger, Julie. So based on what the general said, Lucas, it sounds like the U.S. military has scaled back operations in West Africa. That's right, Julie. In the wake of the October 4th attack, the head of U.S. Special Operations Forces in Africa has ordered his troops to plan missions that keep them from direct combat. Of the roughly 800 U.S. troops in Niger, they will mostly now remain on fortified command centers and advise local forces only. They must get approval for missions from their headquarters in Germany. In addition to the four American soldiers killed, two others were wounded, including the team leader. It took 36 hours to find the body of Sergeant LeDavid Johnson. The general who led the investigation said he was not left behind. The search for Sergeant LeDavid Johnson never stopped. Um, he, he ran 960 meters. He ran a long way from where he was last seen, and he made his last stand where he fought to the end under a dense thorny tree. In a statement, Senator Marco Rubio urged the Pentagon to consider disciplinary actions, Julie.